And again, welcome to the second class of Photoshop and Pixlr. Um, my name is Isabel. I'm the technical trainer for East Brunswick Public Library. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to. So uh, we're going to talk today about uh, brushes, how to use brushes, and how to understand layers in Photoshop and Pixlr. So first, I want to show you. Uh, I don't know if some of you are familiar with the stylus uh, pens, cool tools to have for brushes. And because we're going to be doing brushes, and if you like to uh, do that kind of activity. And so today I don't have uh, one of the stylus, uh, so I'm going to be doing on, on my uh, mouse. So, uh, but it's, it's a great tool to have. And we have some at the makerspace, so when we open, you're welcome to uh, check them out. And they come with a pad. So these stylus are good if you have a tablet or an iPad, so you can draw on it. And then you can get a, uh, these pads, drawing tablets that you can attach to your computer through a USB and you draw here on with your pencil. The files on the Padlet on the board and you're gonna find the, the uh, link to that Padlet on the, uh, on the Zoom chat and you are free free to download. We're going to be using today the uh, this field, this all. And you, if you are new, you can find on the Padlet the link to find Pixlr, or you can just Google Pixlr E. So uh, last week we learned how to open files. So I'm not going to go through that. Uh, I uploaded a texture file here. Uh, let me. See, okay, let me get all this out of the way and get, there it is. So everybody can see that. So, so I loaded this texture file. It's a paper. I got it out of Pixabay. So Pixabay also is a website where you can uh, get uh, pictures available for uh, download as long as you don't have, uh, you're not going to do any commercial use. So these are free for personal use uh, and they are free. So I just did a paper and then I look here on categories and I found backgrounds and I just found a bunch of papers. So I took one from that and I'm, I'm, I've uploaded up here uh, this tonight. And I got this paper here. So to kind of replicate what a paper, what it would look like if you have a paper, uh, you know, on front of you. So, so I just opened my picture and uh, there you can see it. Uh, before we do brush, I thought it would be better. We talk about layers. So let me make this a little bit bigger there. So layers are uh, available in Pixlr in Photoshop and they are excellent. They are the best thing people, in, I mean, better than apple pie because you can, uh, I can write here, I can write here, and if I don't like it, I can turn it off, and I can create another layer and start again, and I can do this here, and, and so on. I can do this, and then I can choose which one I like. So I maybe I like this one, maybe I like this one, Maybe I don't like any of those and I'm gonna look for something else. So um, so they are like tissue papers you put on top and they're translucent. 
So you can choose what, what do you want. It gives you the option. So if you don't like this layer, if you like, if you don't like the top layer, you can turn it off. So it gives you a lot of flexibility about your design. So for example, this layer I have here, the second layer, it has a hello that I did before, very pretty. And then I drew on top. I cannot erase the one on top without hurting the hello. However, if I have, if I have done it on this layer on top, I could remove this, I can remove it. And instead, I don't, ha you take it off. So if I wanna do another layer in pixel art, I just do here plus, and it's gonna give me three options, empty, image, or text. I'm gonna choose empty. So I'm gonna turn this layer because I, see I messed up this one, so I'm gonna redo it. So I'm gonna go to this layer and I'm turn it on. So this image here, this checkbox, it means it's on. If I uncheck it, it's off. You cannot see it. It's still there, but you cannot see it. So I'm gonna turn it on and I'm on this layer, layer four. And now I'm gonna be very careful and I'm gonna try to write the hello that I did before. In, uh, I'm gonna try to do it much better. So I'm gonna do, hello. Hello. So even if I did messed up, so I can turn this off and I can do something else. Oh, but see, I messed up the L, the, the last O. So I'm gonna do it again. And then, you know, it's nothing. It's forever. I can just turn off the layer and I'm gonna try it again. So I'm gonna try again. And then I'm gonna try to see if I can get it right. And see if I get the all right. And there it is. So if I like this one better, this is the one I'm gonna keep. And all these other ones underneath, they're not gonna stay. So I'm gonna turn up the paper underneath. So the, the bottom layer, I'm gonna turn it off. So this is the only thing you're gonna see. So you're not gonna see any of these layers that you see here. So let me see if I can, uh -huh. now you can see. So I can add, layers are great if you, change your mind or you have different versions of the same hello. So maybe I wanna trade one thicker or a different color or another calligraphy style, or wanna put it uh, sideways. I can try as many as I want, and then I can choose the one I want later on just by choosing the layers. So if you are a graphic designer, you might have this customized, so you, maybe you, they ask you to create some um, cars for different people and you do this, you know, one day and a year later they say, oh, can you do the same thing? And, but with a different name. So here you can get customized. So maybe you did it, yeah, just put a name here and Okay, and then next year they ask you, but it's a different person, so I go here plus a new ledger, and maybe you want to put Dave. So you can save this file with all these layers, and then you can customize it so every ledger can be a gives you a different version of your design. And so just by turning it off or turning it on. And when you are done with this, you wanna save it as the native file 
for Pixlr, which is PXD, because that file is gonna give me, um, it's gonna give me the layers. It's gonna keep the layers. So when I, you open the file from your computer, this guy download, uh, downloaded my computer, a year later, you wanna open the file, the layers are gonna be there, okay? So you wanna keep always a version of the native file, PXD file. If you are done with this and this is what you wanna do, you can save it as the version on a JPEG. So this is maybe for a client and you wanna save it as a JPEG and this is all they're gonna get. So the client is only gonna see It's not gonna see your layers, it's just gonna see the final uh, view. And uh, if you are a graphic designer, this is proprietary, so you might want to keep your style and your um, techniques hidden from other people so they don't take it. So that's why you always give uh, somebody else a JPEG or a PNG that doesn't have layers. You don't wanna share the layers unless people ask you to do that. So, uh, any questions about layers or whatever I have said so far? Okay, so on Photoshop, you have, you have, I have the same paper here. Um, I created a layer, so the same in, in Photoshop, you wanna, you wanna go here where it's, I don't know if you guys see the top of the menu, um, I don't know, Zoom gives you the option to see the top of the menu, but if you go to the top of the menu, you're gonna say, you're gonna see uh, um, the toolbar for window. And when you click window, um, you wanna look for layers. So my layers are checked. So you wanna make sure that's, that's, that toolbar is showing. And they're gonna show up here. And this is my background and I have a layer on top that I added with this plus. So it's a little bit similar to Pixlr. See, so you click on this plus and you're gonna create a new layer. So I can turn it off, but this eye is turn it off. And in Photoshop, you can hold, let me get my, see my keyboard. There it is. Uh, you can, well, you can hold your mouse, click your mouse and hold it. If you have a lot of layers, you can turn all of them at once or you can turn all of them off just by holding the left side of your mouse. So you can turn all of them or you can turn each one off individually. So if we have the first layer that I have here, same thing, I'm gonna write Let's see what color I have. I can see the color. I wanna do this color here and I'm gonna go through this much slower. Just let me show you how the layers work. And I'm gonna do hello. Okay. And then maybe I don't like that one and I wanna try it again. Maybe I wanna choose another color. And see here is not letting me paint because my layer is off. So I need to turn on my layer and always make sure you are on the right layer that you wanna work on. Cause that usually happens to me. I'm like clicking here and I'm in the wrong layer. So I'm gonna try it again. So maybe I'm better this time with my calligraphy. Hello. And then you can choose which one you like better. So, or maybe you wanna keep the two. So layers also are useful because maybe you wanna keep both just to give an effect or you wanna keep one. So you decide you wanna keep one or the other. So that's the way layers are in uh, Photoshop. And also in Photoshop, you can go here on the top, you have a menu and it's gonna say layer and you click on it 
and you're going to have more options than pixel art. You have a lot of more layers. You can also create some layers. And uh, layers also are translucent. So for example, I'm going to turn this off for now. Uh, this layer at the, at the bottom, the background layer, which is my paper, is solid. So I can click on the empty part of the layer. So you wanna make sure you're here on the empty part of the layer. You click on it, then you right click, and then you wanna do duplicate. And then it's gonna ask you what's the name of that. And I'm gonna do paper. And then I have a duplicate and I can turn off my background because my background um, is my base and also is my master copy. So I'm gonna put here, my background is the paper. So then I can do this here and put hello. And then I can move my layers. I can move the layers. So I can move, if I hold it with the mouse, I can drag it down, okay? So now you can see what happened now. I move the layer that says the hello here. It hasn't gone away, it's still here. But what happened? Anybody knows what happened? Why I cannot read hello? It's under the layer, exactly, because it's above the paper. Yeah, very good. I'm glad you guys understand. So um, thank you for that. So exactly, this layer, because it's like having a thick piece of paper, you put it on top and it's no translucent. So I can take this here, I make sure I'm in the right layer, there is something called opacity here. You can reduce it to make it more transparent. So you can have a nice effect there. See, it's showing up. It's showing up. And you can maybe turn the one at the bottom and then you can work on this. So you can work on this to make it look maybe like an effect, like an antique effect or some kind of effect you wanna try. So it gives you a lot of artistic and creative options. Uh, this is a very innovative, inno innovative uh, form for creating visual art that Photoshop and Pixlr allows you because it creates some other effects that you may not be able to do it on paper. So, that's how you control the transparency. But remember, if it's 100%, you're not gonna see. It's like putting a piece of pa solid paper on top of another paper. Nothing, nothing is gonna come through. So same thing here in Pixlr. You click here, so let's, I can go here to the background and I can click here on the three dots and it's gonna say duplicate. And then I have a duplicate, it says background. I can rename it. So I can put here paper and that's rename it. And I can drag this one. So I can drag it all the way to the top. And you see the same thing. It's covering everything that is at the bottom. I can click here on the three dots and I can in decrease the transparency or increase the transparency. So see, it starts showing here. Or I can move this paper underneath. So I can now see this layer or this layer. So you can work with those layers and move things around. Uh, one of the things I talked a little bit about last week was the locked. You can lock layers. Uh, Pixlr and Photoshop have different definition of locking. Uh, for, for, for Pixlr, I think locking means that you cannot um, make, what was it? Last week, uh, let me try it. Let me turn it off. I think you can crop it 
but uh, there was something else you can do. I, can, I think you can paint it. Yeah, you can paint it, but I don't think it lets you crop it. Yeah, um, it, yeah, it lets you crop it. So there's things that lets you do and some other things that don't let you do. So you just have to be aware. I quite don't remember on Pixlr, but on Photoshop, um, yeah, actually you can tell what to lock. So if you click here on the background, always the background layer is locked. So you're gonna see here what is locked. So there are three things uh, that are locked here. There is, um, there is this pixel so that you cannot crop it, you cannot move it. And there is, uh, uh, you can do three things, but you can, paint on it. If I click this one, I cannot even do that. Uh, and to unlock it, you just double click and it's unlocked. And if you wanna lock it again, you can just click here on the lock and it's locked. And if you just want it to lock certain things, you just click here and it's back to lock. Now uh, move, you cannot move this layer. If it's locked, uh, basically, you cannot move the background if you make it into a background layer. So a background layer is never gonna move. So that is the definition of background layer for in Photoshop. So anything, when you notice uh, that something quirky is going on, maybe it's because it's locked. The other thing is um, trying to never, uh, to leave the, the background layer as your master and don't uh, try to um, modify it. So you are better off doing a duplicate of the background layer and modifying this and be this your working file. If something happens, you always have a backup and you always have your master file. So that's a good way to uh, be proactive in keeping your, your files intact. So, now that we have layers, the other things that layers do are translucent. So I'm gonna show you here with this one. So I'm gonna turn this one on and maybe this one on. And so I have the background layer on and I'm not gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have this one on and nothing on. So what is going on here? This this paper is, uh, I reduce tra the transparency, but I'm gonna do an effect now. I'm gonna put like a screen to blend. So I'm gonna go here where it says blend mold, and I'm gonna play around with the blending. So it's gonna give me another effect of, on the layer because it's gonna allow to mix to all the, it's like putting a tissue paper on top and then having a light go through it. So you're gonna put like an effect on, the, on this with the blending and everything is gonna blend differently. And if you have more color, things are gonna have a lot of effects and I'm gonna work on that in a little bit. And same thing here on the, on Photoshop, I'm gonna go here to this layer of paper and I'm gonna go here where it says normal and I'm gonna play around. So see, it wasn't showing before and now when I play around with this blending it starts showing. So see, this one is pretty cool. And then I can reduce that, I increase the transparency and you see how things start blending really well. And you get really cool effects with the blending. See, you can get really cool effects. You can play around with this and give your designs some very cool effects. So you can, move layers, you can make get them transparent, you can lock them, um, you can duplicate them and you can delete them. So if you right click here, you can delete the layers. One thing to have uh, in mind in layers in Photoshop 
uh, when I'm in the classroom at the library, a lot of people sometimes want to click here. And when you click here, you get a different menu than when you click on the right. So if you want to duplicate, if you want to delete, uh, you want to make sure you click on the right side of this rectangle. So you get this menu rather than go to the left.